Hello everyone. So for this video, we are asked to find the x and y coordinates of the centroid um, of the shape shown below. So for this shape, we've got uh, a triangle. It's nine inches long here. Uh, it's three inches tall, uh, and the uh, top vertex is going to be three inches along in the x direction. So <clears throat> we need to find the x and y coordinates. For this, we're going to use integration, uh, and the First thing we're going to notice is this is a discontinuous uh, function. Uh, we're going to need one line to describe the height for this first part, so that first dA, uh, and then another line to describe the height for the second part, so the second dA. We call this one, in the x direction at least, dA1, and in this direction, dA2. Alright, so let's go ahead and set that up. So. x bar, we're going to take the integral from x min to x max. We're going to do these two things separately. So for this first part, it's going to be 0 out to 3 of dA1. And it's going to be the, the function describing the height of the triangle at any given point, value of x, between 0 and 3. Uh, and we are going to <clears throat> Uh, multiply that whole thing by x and divide by, uh, well, we'll divide by the area eventually. We also need to, on top of this, we're going to um, take the second integral. So going from 3 out to 9, uh, that's the second part of the graph here, we've got dA2 times x. And so this whole thing gets divided by the area. All right, so let's rewrite this a little bit. Um, x bar is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to 3. Uh, let's figure out what dA1 is. So dA1, uh, the height of this triangle is going to increase linearly um, between 0 and 3. And so the slope of my line is going to be, if I go have a, a rise of 3 inches, a run of 3 inches, I've got a slope of 1. Uh, so dA1 is just going to be x. So let's go ahead and put that in. Integral from 0 to 3 of x times x, I'll put it for that, plus the integral from 3 to 9. All right, now I need to figure out... Uh, the, the equation of the height of this triangle, so bottom is zero, top is going to be this, um, and it's going to be a negative slope. So my run is going down, I'm going down by three inches, I'm going out by six inches, so I've got a slope of one half, negative one half. Uh, and then I also need to figure out the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is not three inches, we've got to remember to take it all the way over, um, so the y-intercept, if I bring it over here, uh, would actually end up being 4.5 inches. So I've got a slope of one half, and I'm going an additional three inches beyond three. I get one and a half inches, or three halves of an inch further. All right, so uh, for that I had um, negative one half x plus uh, 4.5. Multiply that whole thing by x, and I'm going to divide by the area of my triangle. So 1 half base times height uh, holds true for this triangle as well. Uh, so my base is 9 inches, my height is 3 inches, 1 half 3 times 9, I should end up with 13.5 inches squared. Alright, let's evaluate some of these integrals. So I've got x bar equals, uh, and I evaluate x squared, uh, if I evaluate x squared it's going to be equal to um, one third x cubed plus, uh, I evaluate this integral, so it's negative one half x squared plus 4.5x, so negative 3 to 9, 
negative uh, one sixth x cubed, because remember it's x squared here, between x times, or one half, negative one half x times x, um, plus 4.5 times x. Uh, the integral of 4.5x is going to be um, 2.25x squared. All over the area uh, of 13.5. All right, so let's evaluate um, some of these things. So going from 0 to 3, I'm going to have uh, plug 3 in for x. I have one third times three cubed. I subtract off the initial value of zero, so one third times zero cubed is going to be equal to zero. Plus, I have to evaluate this from three to nine, so it's going to be equal to uh, negative one six times nine cubed. plus 2.25 times 9 squared. And I have to subtract off, or sorry, subtract off the initial value. So minus, I'm going to plug in 3 each time I see an x. So minus negative 1 sixth times 3 cubed plus 2.25 times 3 squared. All right, so all of this again is divided by that 13.5. I get an x bar value. Uh, if I evaluate this whole thing out, uh, I should end up with an x bar value of 4 inches. All right, so that's the x-coordinate of my centroid. So now let's move on, let's look at the y-coordinate. All right, so y, y-bar, is going to be equal to the integral from y-min to y min to y max. So again, I look back at my triangle. Uh, y min is going to be 0, and I go up to 3 inches, so 0 to 3, uh, times dA times y over the area. And the area, again, is just going to be 13.5 inches squared. All right? So what's dA equal to? Well, dA is going to be the width of the triangle uh, at any given value of y. Uh, so down here at 0, I start at 9 inches wide, uh, and it kind of decreases linearly. Um, so both of those are, sides are lines, so the overall result is going to be a line. Uh, and by the time I get to 3 inches, uh, I've, got, I've got a width of 0. So we can describe this with a single function. We don't need to worry about two functions like we did for the x. Uh, so dA, if I start at 9, uh, and then by the time I get to y equals 3, uh, I've got zero width. Uh, I'm going to have a slope of, I need to de decrease the width by 1 inch for every 1 inch that, or decrease the width by 3 inches for every 1 inch I go up. So dA is going to have a slope of negative 3 times y. Uh, and remember also, uh, I start, when y is 0, I start at 9. So I do plus 9. Multiply that whole thing by y, divide by the area of 13.5 inches squared. All right? So we can evaluate this out. So y bar equals the integral from 0 to 3 of negative 3y squared plus 9y uh, over 13.5 is equal to 
the evaluation from 0 to 3 of uh, negative 3y squared turns into negative y cubed. Uh, and then plus 9y, uh, I'm going to, if I integrate that, I got 9 halves y squared over 13.5. All right, y bar. Uh, evaluating this from 0 to 3, I just plug in 3 at every point. So negative 3 cubed plus 9 halves times 3 squared minus my initial value of 0. If I've got negative 0 cubed plus 9 halves times 0 squared, that whole thing is just going to be equal to 0. Divide by 13.5, uh, and I end up with a y bar value uh, that is should be equal to one inch. All right, so there we have our y bar value. Uh, we've got x bar of four inches. We've got y bar of one inch. Uh, if we go back to our original diagram, uh, that means that our centroid, I go four inches over and one inch up. About right here, I go over four inches, up one inch. That is going to be my centroid. So with that, we found our centroid. We solved our problem. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.